This video demonstrates how we can use Autograph to visualize the gradient function of log x. I've started off with the curve y equals e to the x here, and I've set up uh, a triangle which will be one unit in the x direction, so delta x will always be 1, and delta y, the vertical component, will change as we move along the x-axis. And we can also see that the vertical component here, our delta y, is exactly the same as the y-coordinate of e to the x. And we can see that at any point, the gradient for our line segment here will be exactly the same as the gradient of the tangent to the curve. Now we're going to reflect y equals e to the x to get the inverse function. So I'm not going to show the reflection axis at the moment. So um, I've reflected that and that's our log x function. I'm also going to put in the reflection line now, so y equals x. And draw options. I'm just going to make it into a dotted line and a slightly lighter colour. I also want to reflect the triangle here, but before I do that, I'm going to put in the tangent to the line log x, y equals log x. So if I select it and go to enter coordinate, doesn't matter where I put it, so I'll just leave it as y is 0. And then selecting that point, if I right click, I can put in the tangent. If I select that, edit my draw options, I'm going to make it into a dotted line. Now, as I said, I want to reflect this triangle here, so I'm going to make it into a shape or group into shape. So if I select the three corners, right click and then choose my group to shape, which is here. It's a little bit dark at the moment, so if I select it and then right click and edit my draw options, I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent so it's not quite as dark on the page. That looks a little bit better. Now I also want to reflect this shape, so if I select it and then select the line of reflection, right click and choose reflection. Now just to check that it does work, if I move that one along, it also moves the reflected shape along and that reflected shape always remains touching the, the curve. Now just to check that our tangent to the line or the curve log x actually sits along the line segment of the shape, we can move it along and we can see that yes it does. And just to check that it does work, if we try another couple of places, so if I just shift that along a little bit and then shift my tangent along a little bit, we can see that the tangent will always lie along this line segment here. So that means the gradient of the tangent to log x will be the gradient of this line segment here, which we know is always one unit in the vertical component and along the horizontal component it changes, but because this vertical component always remains along the y-axis, let's move it along just to check that it does, then the horizontal component will always be exactly the same as the x-coordinate. So that means the gradient of this line segment will be 1 divided by x. So we've got our gradient function y equals or y dashed equals 1 over x.